The African Christian Democratic Party, the ACDP, believes that Christian values should remain in schools because the Constitution promotes freedom of religion. The organization is also calling for unity for the sake of religious freedom and for the sake of keeping the gospel free in South Africa. From our Seapoint studios, we are glad to be joined by the ACDP leader, Reverend Kenneth Meshwe. Reverend, a very good morning to you and welcome. Good morning to you, sir, and thank you very much for having me. Now, Reverend, the case before the courts is from the Organization for Religious Education and Democracy says that they want to promote in-depth, fact-based education about religions of the world. They want to eradicate religious indoctrination in public schools. What's your take and your assessment of the ideals? Well, to my knowledge, there is no religious indoctrination taking place in the schools. Parents are exercising their constitutional right to have their children be taught values that are based on Christian teachings. So when parents have a choice to have their children taught according to what they believe, nobody should say that is a form of indoctrination. Actually, for the sake of and for the benefit of our viewers and listeners out there, I want to read shortly three sections from the national policy on religion and education. Section seven says, this policy links religion and education with new initiatives in cultural rebirth, moral regeneration, and the promotion of values in our schools, full stop, then religion can play a significant role in preserving our heritage, respecting our diversity, and building a future based on progressive values. That's section seven. Then section eight says, to achieve these goals, the relationship between religion and education must be guided by the following principles. I read only one principle. It says, public institutions have a responsibility to teach about religion and religions in ways that reflect a profound appreciation of the spiritual, non-material aspects of life. Public institutions have a responsibility to teach about religion. So there is nothing wrong when any school chooses to teach values based on the religion that they are following. And the last one I will read, uh, section 20. Section 20 says, the full development of our children is fundamental to the education process. Mm -hmm. It continues to say, the life orientation learning area through programs like life skills, religion, education, and social responsibility is well positioned to impact on the ethical and moral dimensions of pupil development. Programs for religion education should purposefully pursue the moral and ethical development of pupils. So when teachers are teaching Christianity in the schools, they are, according to the national policy on religion and education, they are purposefully pursuing the moral and ethical development of pupils. So those who are trying to stop this are unconstitutional, number one, because they deny children the right to exercise their faith anywhere they want. They deny the constitutional uh, responsibility that parents have and teachers have, teachers who are an extension of parents have of in in bringing morals to the children. So mm -hmm. values are important in society and values are important in our children and values are important in our schools, as you know that there are many problems facing our schools. And people are saying, throw away Christianity out of the schools. They do not have a replacement and they do not have a solution. So I'm saying on behalf of the ACDP, the values that are taught by Christianity are helping to bring about values such as respect, such as caring for one another, such as respecting your neighbor, yourself, and so on. 
So we cannot, and it would be a big mistake in South Africa, when we have so much crime and violence in our schools, to throw away values that teach children to consider others, care for others, and respect others. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, let all those who are saying, throw out Christianity or the teaching of Christianity, bring back the solutions into the schools. Help us how to help, sorry, help us to bring children that are on drugs. Now, help us reform children that need help. Now, now Reverend, yes, God has also indicated that they are not against Christianity. They, they want equality. Uh, of all religions being practiced in schools. Are you against that? Not at all. Not at all. Remember, the policy says religion and religions. So religion, obviously, if parents want to teach about Christianity, it is in line with the Constitution, and it's also in line with the, con with, uh, the policy that has been said by the Department of Education. They also, in addition, can teach about other religions. Nobody is saying no to that. So if they say schools are refusing, then they are misleading the public. We must correct the problem where it is, rather than throw out the baby with the bathwater. Now, if you indicated, you indicated earlier that there's no indoctrination of Christian values on, on, on schools, but uh, the, the schools are using public funds in order to promote Christianity. Is that not in line with our Constitution? That is in line. What we are saying is exactly in line with our Constitution, because state institutions are allowed to teach a religion. So if they teach about Christianity, that is in line with the Constitution. That is also in line with the national policy on religion and education, as I just read to the public. Mm -hmm. Th then how do we do this then, Reverend? How do we ensure that uh, other religions are well represented in schools? The parents, obviously, the parents have to see how many religions are in the schools. The school governing body. I know schools in the townships, for example, that only um, Christianity. They only believe in Christianity. That is the makeup of South Africa. So you cannot penalize communities that do not follow other religions by saying you cannot teach Christianity. When all the schools in the area and all the children in the area and the parents are saying we all believe in Christianity. So if that is what they believe in the community, there's nobody who says my religion is different from what is being taught. We cannot penalize such people and such communities. What is the ultimate solution then with this particular case, uh, uh, Reverend, and how do you think it will impact if the court uh, found in their favor? I do not believe the court would find in their favor. The courts know that to teach Christianity in the schools is not necessarily discriminating against another religion. If I teach about where Jesus Christ was born, how is that discriminating against other religions? When I say, according to the teachings of Jesus Christ, you need to love God with all your heart, you need to love your neighbor as yourself, how is that discriminating against other religion? So I cannot see the courts ruling against the teaching of Christianity in the schools because the courts will say if other religions are taught because the parents want that and the children want that, there's no problem with that. Uh, we, we cannot stop the teaching of religion in the schools or specifically Christianity in the schools because somebody out there thinks if that person, obviously, and this organization can be asked, have you done a research in the townships? Tell us which township have you done a research to conclude that there are other religions that are discriminated. They will not be able to tell you anything. So I'm saying, coming from the township, that there are schools and there are communities where only Christianity is practiced. So you cannot penalize such communities. Those communities, teachers and schools must be allowed to teach about the religion that is practiced and followed by people in that community. Now, in closing, uh, Reverend, before I let you go, recently the church has been accused of interfering in politics. We have the SACC report uh, suggesting that the country is on a brink of a mafia state. But if we look at that particular question, does the church or can the church get involved into politics and what is the role of the church in a democracy? Well, it, it depends what you mean as a church. If you talk about the church as an institution, the church as an institution has responsibilities that are separate from that of the state.
But if you believe about people, human beings, people in the church have the right to be in politics like people who are not in the church. We cannot discriminate against people just because they are believers in God, because they are in the church and say to them, you cannot be involved in politics. Should people in politics be only those that are coming from the Shebins? People who don't believe in God, is that what you're saying? But I'm saying every South African, regardless of where they come from, if they come from churches, if they believe in God, they must be treated equally, and they must also be able to participate and practice their faith every, in every area of life, including in politics. I'm a Christian who's in politics, and obviously I do not bring church doctrines in politics. I would have been called to order. You know, when you do things like that, speak also order, order. I've never been called to order in parliament because I do not bring church doctrine into politics. But as a Christian, I bring values and I bring yeah, values that are based on my faith. That's what I'm promoting. And those values are helping to build a better South Africa. If majority of South Africans would actively practice the values that we are being taught in the word of God, for example, South Africa would be a nicer place, would not have too many women who are raped and killed and murdered all this time, would be living in peace, respecting one another as neighbors. If we strictly followed the teaching of the word of God. That's why I promote that Christians and church leaders, whether they are at home or in parliament, they should be allowed to voice out their beliefs and their values. That will help build a better, prosperous South Africa. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Reverend, for your time and joining us in our Cape Town studios. My pleasure, sir. Have a lovely day. And that was uh, from our Seapoint studios, the ACDP's leader, Reverend Kenneth Meshwe.